Hi friends! Hi! From Las Vegas, Nevada, we are visiting Vegas right now and Yay. we are staying at the Park MGM. Park MGM and we wanted to show you guys around, give you a tour. So far this has been one of the family friendliest places we've stayed on this oh, trip. Oh, big time. And so we wanted to bring it to you guys so you can check it out, give you a full tour so you know what's going on in there and see if this would be a right place for your family to stay while you're here. Yeah. So we're gonna get started with a hotel tour and a room tour. Are you ready for let's the tour? Let's do this. Let's do the tour. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so we're gonna start our tour right outside the lobby. This is what it looks like. You'll be dropped off somewhere over here. Um, and if you're parking, the parking deck is that way. But we're gonna go inside, it's pretty windy. The first thing you take note, which is our favorite thing about this place, it is a smoke-free hotel and casino, but beware, these doors are heavy. <laughs> these are some heavy doors, so it kind of makes it hard to get your luggage inside a little bit. But good thing that as soon as you get all the way in though, there is a bell desk and they can take your luggage from you right there and you don't have to deal with it. If only we knew that was a Yeah, <laughs> bear with us as it's pretty loud in here because it is a weekend. Right in the center of the lobby, there's this root system coming out of the ground. And I'm kind of just going to stand right here to show you where everything is in the lobby. So this is the bell desk and the doors we just came in. If you go to the right of the bell desk, there's like a VIP service desk over there. And um, out those doors is where you get, like if you want to take an Uber somewhere, the ride chair area is over there. Turning this way, we have Primrose, which is like a lobby bar, but it's also a little restaurant. So you could get breakfast there, maybe some lunch, and of course they have their bar. So this side, there's a corner store that has like some nice luxurious items. This is the check-in line here. And then this is the shop, which is also shopping, but it's a little less bougie than the corner store across the way over there. And this is where the VIP check-in is. If you are a VIP, you can do that. And now we're back over to this side. So as we leave the lobby, we're gonna take you to where the elevators are, and then we'll take you to where the casino is. And then we'll head upstairs for the second level. But on the first level, there's also a pool down here, a Starbucks, some more shopping. Casino. Casino. And there's a dining place here called, what is it called? Italy, yeah, it's like an Italian shopping thing. So we're gonna go check that out. All right, we have come to the right side of the check-in desk and we're gonna go this way just to kind of show you where the guest elevators are. That's really, that's all on this side of the lobby is to where you get to your room, but it's important, importante. So based on which floor you're on, it'll have different floor numbers on which elevator you are to take. And you do have to have a key to get into the elevator yes. to go up to the room. So it's really, yeah, it's really safe. You can go up to the second floor because it's still a public space, but to go up to an actual room, you do need a key and which I love because that's safety, right? Yeah. Okay, now we've come around and we're on the left side, the port side, the port side of the check-in desk, which is right behind you there and we're gonna go down this way this is where the corner store was that i was talking about that has the more like bougie clothes and stuff in it um and but we're gonna go down this hallway now so the only thing remember on the right is just the elevators and so down in this hallway if you ever need to figure out where the heck you're going they have these nice signs everywhere so you can figure out what the heck you're trying to get to and they also remind you that it is smoke free mm -hmm. Okie dokie, we come out of there just now. If we go this way, there's a casino and stuff, but before we go that way, we're gonna go this way, because you can see from the sign there's a pool. But first, there is this, the sixth space. So this is like a bath bomb area. <laughs> not bath, bath bomb, situation. but yeah, bath stuff. I've never seen it open, so I'm not sure what's going on in there. And then they have a night up store, which 
This has all the merchandise for the Knights who play across the street at the T-Mobile Arena. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a really good place to stay if you're doing anything at the T-Mobile Arena because yeah. it's right across the street. Like, you don't even have to ride anywhere. Yeah, it's literally just one quick crosswalk and then, like, 300 feet. Yep. So now we are at the pool. We're going to go out there in just a second. But if you kept going down this way, there's a conference center, but you can keep going and you can get to the Bellagio tram or the Aria Hotel and Casino, and you don't have to walk outside, which is nice. It's really nice. And the tram is nice and saves you a few steps. Because the Bellagio fountains are like worth going to see. Yeah, and it's that makes it a lot easier to see them. Though. And it's a mile away, so. Yeah. Out to the pool area. So this is some outdoor seating for the Primrose. No one's utilizing that right now because it's it is uh, windy out. Oh, wow, it's actually warm out here. Yeah, it's warm but windy. Weird. So as you come in, they have lockers. We also passed a place where you can check out a towel and get some snacks, but there were a lot of people over there. I didn't want to film them getting their grub on. But over here, I'm going to kind of stay a little bit away from the pools because, you know, for privacy reasons. But we have a pool on this side. It's the south pool. Apparently there is a helicopter right above us. So this is the South Pool, which would be like the family pool. There is a restroom across the way over there. And over here we have the East Pool and the North Pool. And these are 18 and older pools. So if you don't want to be around kids, you don't have to be. But if you're here with your family, there's a place for you too. Okay, and then this is the North Pool, which is the closest pool to the bar. So that'd probably be the pool I would choose. But here's the South Pool again, it's right here too. So pretty easy, but you are surrounded by buildings in this whole pool area. So there's probably only a select time of the day that the sun is out on you. That's yeah. the only uh, downside I can see to this pool, but it's really nice. And I like the seats in the water over here. That is that's, pretty good. Man. Yeah, that's my kind of lounging right there. <laughs> yeah. So we're walking in from the pool now and we're gonna take you down through the casino. We're gonna stay on the first floor, get that all done with, and then we'll pop up to the second floor, which is where the spa is. So, might not be a lot to show you there, but you'll know it's there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so just for some wayfinding, we just came from the pool, and this is actually a shortcut area through to where the elevators are. So you can walk out through here to go to the pool instead of going through the lobby and everything. Um, this is a conference center. It also has a FedEx office in there, which is pretty nice if you need some business stuff. And then here's the most popular place in the casino and hotel, Starbucks. Usually has a really long line. It's not too bad right now because it's like lunchtime, but very popular. Okay, we have walked all the way down from the pool, the same walkway, yeah. and now we're in the casino. And so then the casino goes all the way down. We'll walk on the right side going down and we'll walk on the left side coming up. There's a couple of different things in the casino other than gambling. Yeah. So we're going to check those out. We've walked down the casino floor a little bit. And the first thing to note over here on this side is Dolby Live. This is a theater. So where you can see shows and stuff. And right now, Usher's here. Yeah. yeah. And then right next to the Dolby Live Theater is the House of Gaga Las Vegas, where you can see a bunch of Lady Gaga outfits and memorabilia. It's a, it's a pretty interesting shop. Here's a sneak peek into the House of Gaga as we just keep on moving past it. But we are coming up on some eateries over here. So we have the La La Noodle, and I'll show you their menu right here. Here's a look at the La La Noodle menu. There you go. And then now we've made it to the end of the casino where the Italy is. And on this side of the Italy, you can get to Las Vegas Boulevard, which is the Strip. So um, Italy is an Italian food and wine food fair, I guess. So they have a like little booths for everything. So this is seafood. We got a cheesemonger place over there, a butcher place, pizzeria. All kinds of stuff. One of the first days we were here, we saw them make, making pasta for the first yeah, time. Yeah, like they make it from scratch and everything. It's really cool, actually. It is. Watch. It's very cool. 
<laughs> okay, so we are done at Italy, and we just kind of did a broad overview of that. There's so much more in there, so and it's so much to take in. It's so actually overwhelming. Yes, yeah. It's a lot of options in there. Yeah. But we're going to go head back around towards the front where the lobby is and hit all the stuff that's on the opposite side of the casino. So the first thing that we're gonna come up on is called Best Friend. It's barbecue, food, and snacks. So we'll show you the menu in here too. So here's the menu for Best Friend. They do have like a chef menu where you can just pay 69 bucks a person and get all these things. Um, but then they have some more a la carte type stuff. And here's some of the barbecue. Um, this is LA stuff <laughs> and some Vegas stuff and then you can always like scan to see a menu too as you walk around but this is what it looks like in there it's not open right now but it's a pretty cool little spot every time it has been open I've seen a lot of people in there so they got a lot of cool memorabilia old grocery items in there and not just from America but like all around the world which is pretty cool next to best friend is mama rabbit bar which is a real cute bar and i don't think any food is served in here or maybe there is there's some tables over there but this is mostly a bar which has some pretty cool art in it this looks like a really amazing photo spot i know and then you got your old timey slot machines over here this is a pretty cool looking bar right all right we're walking by mama rabbit now after mama rabbit is on the record so on the record is a speakeasy and a bar so but it's based on records right now they're doing a whole usher thing because usher's in town and so um the screen kind of is showing you what it looks like up in there it is also closed because it is uh in the morning right now but there's the stairway to heaven right there after off the record, which is right there, there is a sports betting bar here. And then we're gonna keep turning down this way. Then down here is a restroom and a grill. Yeah, we just took a step from that sports betting bar a little bit off the casino floor to show you the side Betty grill a little bit better. I'm gonna show you a menu piece right here. And it smells really good in there. And it's kind of off the beaten path, so it's not as crowded as the rest of the restaurants which is really nice but it smells amazing i bet their food is legit we've come back out of that little side step there oh chris is here and now we're at the juniper cocktail lounge so there's a lot more of the dining offerings on this side but this is kind of what the juniper cocktail lounge looks like very adult and classy like it okay juniper was right here and now we're at bavette's steakhouse it looks very fancy it's closed right now but here is a look of the menu so there's a little neon shining so it's kind of hard to see so sorry about that it just gives you an idea of what kind of stuff you can buy here they got oysters they got a 75 dollar filet Okay, so we've made it all the way through the casino now. As you go in and leave from the lobby, there are high limit slots and poker on either side and then all your normal casino stuff. And they have everything in there, all the games that I've ever seen at any casino they had. So we're gonna head up to the second floor to show you what's up there and then we'll do a room tour and let you go. So we're on the second floor. We just came off of the elevators and it's pretty simple up here. It's taking you, like if you need to go to the conference center or the casino, you, those are elevator areas. Mm -hmm. to take you right back downstairs where I showed you all that. Yeah. But up here we have the fitness center and you do need a key to go in, but I'm not gonna go in just cause people are working out. But it looks like they have weight machines. They have a couple of free weights in the back and some other um, like fitness, or not fitness, uh, cardio machines in there as well Fitness machine. and then around this corner we have the spa so if you have a spa appointment if you're getting a facial or massage or whatever you would go down in there and I'm not gonna go in there because I don't have any of those things and if you wanted to take the elevator to the place next door and to the pool you can do that 
up here too. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. So let's yeah. head up our, to our room and do a room tour and then we'll be done. Yeah. It's time for a room tour. We're staying in room 333 on the 25th floor. Let's see if Jude will let me in. Welcome. Welcome to our hotel room. Yeah. Hi. Hello. So, coming on in. We have a green room. Yeah. I really, it's a really nice green too. It's not yeah. like the pop, poppy green. It's so nice. It's like actual nice. Actual nice. Look behind you, there's hooks so you can hang your jacket. They're made of leather, so they look extra nice. Yeah, really nice. Show me around. So here we have our bathroom with a walk-in shower and a toilet. Walk-in shower. It's like, where's the shower head? There it is. <laughs> there it is. It's tiny. It's tiny. It's a little baby. Let's see what the toiletry options are in here. Let's turn this on. It's just almond and olive. Almond and olive. Hmm. I wonder if it smells good. Interesting choices for, uh, for scents. I mean, almond, it, it's like almost no scent. <laughs> <laughs> and olive is a pretty strong scent. You think so? so? So, yeah. And then uh, this is the vanity. We got a uh, magnified mirror here. Jeez, look. Oh my God. Oh, ah! oh that, I, <laughs> that's insane. Uh, um, we we may want to. Can you can look, this, look in there? Yes, I can. I, I did look. It's like, You don't like it. You're like, yeah. it's terrifying. That, that's sickening. <laughs> that's sickening. I cannot look at it. And then they just have like the hand soap here. They also had the body soap. And a lotion with that almond and olive. Three towels. With a whole bunch of towels. So, and that is a blow so dryer you, down there. So, so, if you want to swim, you can come back to the room soaking wet and still get dry. Yeah. Or take a shower. And they also, this also has a dimmer switch in here. So, if you want to take oh, like a bath. It's and, like our new house. Well, I was going to say take a bath, but there's no bath in here. But if you want to relax, you can have it not relax so dark. Relax while taking a dog. <laughs> and then you got hangers here. And then this door doubles as the bathroom door, but when you move it over, now the closet's open. So in the closet, we have an iron, an ironing board, which is very fancy. This is nicer than our house one. Um, some hangers to hang up some stuff, some ice buckets, and a couple of glasses, a safe to lock all your stuff up, and then a couple of drawers in here. And then a luggage rack, which we threw our luggage on top of for now. And now we go into oh, the main living space. Yeah, we got a two queen situation. So this is what it looks like. There's two queens in it. Surprise. <laughs> yep. And I like all the art too. It's like very, it kind of makes you feel like you're in a home and not a hotel. Which is yeah. pretty nice. Uh, it's like we're in an apartment in New York. Yeah, and then Kenny's <laughs> here. And we have some kind of view out there. I think we have a strip view. Someone want to lift this curtain? Yes. Um, yeah. Power, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if it's not pulling that one. There you go. You got it. Ooh. So yeah, we got a lot of a roof. But if you look past the roof, let's see what we got. We have the MGM Grand. There's a plane taking off. We can see the M&M store from here. Ooh. New York, New York from here. Is that a Target? That is a Target. Oh my gosh. A, There's a Target to, on the strip gonna, right it, next to Walgreens and Ross Dress for Less. Yeah, we're going to have to look at a strip Target. Strip Target. <laughs> I just There's realized a Coke how that's store <coughs> and m and m store. Moving on with our room tour. We, on this side, excuse me, <laughs> there sorry, sorry. is a table that you can sit and eat. Someone else can join you here. Or if you have some work to do, like the kids have some school work they'll probably do in here. We got the TV. Under the TV, we have a whole bunch of different plugs. So if you brought some stuff that you want to hook up or you need to charge. So there's a couple of different charging ports in there and an HDMI if you want a game or something. And then you got a full length mirror on this side. And then here's basically what the mini bar is. Some nice snackies. And then you can scan here, I think, to see how much it cost. 
I'm sure it's more than we want to spend. Yes. <laughs> $30 for a bag of cookies. Yeah. And then on this side, as far as charging goes, we got like a phone and then we just have some regular uh, plugins right there. I haven't really seen any plain USB ports. So that's interesting. Gee, just checking out the snacks. Really and then we got a couple of more um, regular plugs on this side. And I think that's it for plugs. But yeah, this is a pretty cute room. I dig it. So there you have it. That was the full tour of the Park MGM right Beautiful here on the hotel. Las Vegas Strip. It's a gorgeous hotel. And I think we might not ever stay anywhere else now that yeah, we've yeah. stayed here before. Yeah, now that Main we're reason, here. because no smoking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, if you're not a smoker and or a gambler, it's really hard to find things to do in Vegas and not to feel kind of like bleh because yeah. you're around all the smelly smoke. Um, but here you don't get that. I mean, of course you get it when you go outside and anywhere else. It's but a nice break. Yeah, it gives you a break and you don't have to sleep in it. Very comfortable beds. Um, it wasn't the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in a, in a hotel. But, not the but least. it wasn't the least. And the rooms were really cozy, really felt like home, yeah. and I really enjoyed it. So we recommend, I give a thumbs up. What about you? Uh, two thumbs up. Yay. I just can't lift one of my <laughs> And it's, it's centrally located around a bunch of stuff, so we were able to do a lot of things just walking and not Ubering around, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. And if you're looking for a vacation out to Las Vegas, make sure to look up our friends at World of Wonder Travel, because they'll help you out. They're amazing. So thanks for joining us and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.